What is, I mean, a couple of things to say just on your performance is you, you do. I'm surprised at how quick you are to turn to develop a response and an answer. I, we do these things in conferences, and if you get a curveball question, actually, it's very challenging to turn that round quickly into a critical response, which sometimes could be aligned with the question, but actually, you know, doesn't have to build opposition. So I thought actually, it's quite impressed. I'm sure my students all the time can respond and sustain a game of tennis, intellectual tennis, so quickly. So somewhat struck at that. I do think, uh, I return to the subject, that you all managed to, um, I mean, Anne had the slide, and I'm going to get this wrong, which was ethics, aesthetics, and technology. Utilitarian. Utilitarian. And again, I, I have, many people approach subjects with a perspective which is multifaceted. For example, um, economics, social, and environmental that we take on board, that things have many dimensions to them. And it struck me that all of you managed to take apart these questions, and all of you had an economic dimension. Many of you featured the social dimension, impact and benefit, and you also dealt with this, this other environmental thing which is perhaps running throughout the theme. So I thought it was that sophisticated again, that you took it from different angles. I think in the end, um, drawing the lines between, between some of the vocabularies, I'm not sure you could, I'm not sure you all want to be separated out as black and white because you all managed to understand that some of the vocabulary um, was, had different value attributes. So you sometimes felt, you sometimes saw all of you moving and shifting along those lines. But that's what a good debate is about. So I think you all dealt with that. I think the questions were very good, actually. I know that was Maggie's idea, whoever's idea. But they seem to hit you right in the middle of something which isn't easily sorted out. Evidently, re the response is going to be grey. And I thought you sustained a, a response to that through some quite complex interrogation, really. So. Oh, well done. Thanks very much. Thank you. And Anne? Well, fortunately, Chris has said most of the things first, so <laughs> I don't have to think of very much to say. Um, I, I, I thought you all did a splendid job. Um, one thing which I thought was really nice was that everybody participated and um, I'm quite used to running seminars in, in university and you tend to find that one or two people say most things and most people say very little, but it was nice here that everybody participated and you were willing to ask questions and, and actually some really, really good questions. So that was great. Um, I, I, I would certainly um, reiterate the comment about things being shades of grey. In, in the real world, they often are. And virtually everything you think about is going to be shades of grey. And there are no easy answers to conservation-type issues. Um, and and I, I don't think... Even, even the people who spend all their time have, have necessarily simple solutions to these things. But I think the really important thing is, is that, that everybody thinks about them as, as part of, of their daily lives and, and, and they're aware of, of, of the um, wider consequences of, of everything we do. And, and that biodiversity is something that's important to us in Scotland as it is in the Amazon. It, it, it's part of our natural environment, part of our sense of, of, of being part of, part of this country. So um, thinking about these things is, 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 is very important and um, there's no reason why we shouldn't go to the movies and have fun, but if, if we think about the wider issues at the same time, that's, that's great too. So thank you very much for all your thoughts. Um, as I said, uh, I was very impressed and I, and I enjoyed it and, um, and, and I thank you for your contributions.